Hey guys, it's me again, and today is October 15th, 2021, and we have yet another quote-unquote high watch date. The last one we had was last week, last weekend, um, from between, actually between October 7th through the 9th, which some have proposed is the Feast of Trumpets, the true Feast of Trumpets. That is, uh, we all know that the Feast of Trumpets or Rosh Hashanah was celebrated last month, September. And now about these feast dates, if, if you don't already know, um, the people are theorizing that the rapture is going to take place during one of these feast dates. Now, it's not something that you know these people are claiming to be 100% sure, but it, they're just theorizing it. You know, we're all looking up. And... Before I get going, you know, I personally am not one of these quote unquote watchmen. Uh, I don't have the brain power to do all this research on my own. And, you know, these guys' analysis, um, the one that's going around today, um, it seems pretty basic if, if you think about it. Um, they're basing it off of the 80 year generation on Psalm 90, verse 10, and with Israel 73 years old. And, you know, if they, they turned 80 in 2028, and, um, so between 2028 and the less the seven year tribulation period, we arrive at 2021. And now they're, they're combining that with the feast dates. Um, I guess um, Jesus fulfilled a lot of the feast dates, um, you know, during the feast date. And they're associating the Feast of Trumpets with the rapture um, somehow. And, and I'll take their word for that. And I don't believe that the rapture necessarily has to take place on a feast date. But it will be kind of cool if it did, and I'm I'm hoping that it will be this weekend. Um, that's the other high um, watch date. Did I, did I say that already? Um, October 17th or October 18th. Um, the short story behind that is that this year could possibly be um, a jubilee year. And to be honest, I don't even know what the significance of that is in as in um, in terms of these feasts. It's not something that I've ever studied until now, and I'm not really even studying it. I'm just taking other people's words for it. But apparently, if it we're in a jubilee year, which nobody really knows for sure, then during that jubilee year, the Feast of Trumpets is celebrated on the same day as the Day of Atonement, which, from what I understand, is um, going to be this weekend. The Day of Atonement is going to be on the 17th or possibly the 18th. So that's the basic theory about that, and I'm not here to um, search dates. Um, what I really want to talk about is the heart of people who are so opposed against, um, you know, people who search dates and propose them. I've mentioned this already in my last video, but to me, if you're not looking at dates that other people have proposed. Are you truly watching? Now, I've never looked at dates until this year. I never really got introduced to, um, you know, um, these date searching people until earlier this year. All my life, I've believed that the rapture was imminent, meaning it could happen at any given moment. And as I said on my last video, the flip side of that imminent um, belief is that it could happen five minutes from now, but it can also happen 5,000 years from now. And I said, I no longer believe that because I believe that we do have appointed times and the rapture is going to happen at the appointed time that only God knows. Now, I do believe that if you look at all the signs around us, um, the things happening in Israel, the intensifying birth pangs, that there is no denying that Jesus is coming back for us soon. These are the very signs that he himself told us to watch out for. And even apart from the feast dates, apart from the 80-year fig tree prophecy that any, everybody, including myself, is um, hanging on to, um, there are still the birth pangs all around us, and I believe that Jesus can come back very soon. And I hope I'm right. I do hope that we are that generation. But you know, going back to what I just said, can, you, can one person truly be watching if they're not looking at dates? Now, um, you know, there are people who are saying, oh, well, you know, I don't need dates. I'm always watching. 
really now. I mean, I guess that's how I felt back, you know, before I started getting into all of this. You know, I thought that I was quote unquote watching, but but was I really though? You know, to me, it was just a general idea. Yeah, Jesus can back at any time, but you know, whatever. Now, when I started taking these date searchers a little more seriously, and um, you know, the, the things they say seem to make sense, and, and something changed inside me. I thought I was watching before, but after I started taking their words seriously, then I really was truly watching. Like it changed, like my heart changed, my attitude changed towards everything. You know, like, you know, my, I basically started living more godly because of the very possibility that, you know, Jesus could be coming back for us soon. And it's not like I'm trying to earn my spot in the rapture, but I just want to be found to be about my father's business when he comes. Um, and, you know, and y you might say, well, you know, what, you're only going to do God's work if he's coming? Well, you know, I'm really spiritual because it doesn't matter when he's coming. I'm always, you know, do, I'm always in my A game and I'm always doing all these things for the Lord. Well, good for you. Although I don't really believe that. But I think this all boils down to the heart. I'm talking about people who oppose the, um, the dates that some people like try to come up with. Now, you know what, whether or not you, you, um, you follow any of these watchmen, if somebody with an earnest heart, I mean, you, we can't really tell for sure, but you know, you can sort of discern if some people are just trying to take you along for a ride or trying to take advantage of the situation. Because I know a couple of um, pastors who um, like to integrate quote unquote prophecy into their videos so just, though, just so you can click on them. But there are these watchmen who put, you know, hours and days and weeks and months and years trying to research the scriptures and trying to see if they can, you know, make connections so they can narrow down the timing of the rapture. Now, if we have a brethren who's doing all that, you know, with a sincere heart, can't you just maybe give them the benefit of the doubt that perhaps God may actually be leading them to this narrow date, especially as, as you know, the hour draws near? You know, we are encouraged to really, you know, talk more about the rapture as, you know, we see the day approaching. You know, it says that in Hebrews. It doesn't say the rapture, but um, as we see the day approaching, we're supposed to encourage each other even more. And we definitely see the day approaching. But but why won't you even give these dates, you know, a consideration? It just if they're wrong, they're wrong. But how, how, how are you reacting to it? Are you just like dismissing it, blowing it off? If you are, Why? Don't you wish that these guys will actually be right? Can't you just stop for a moment and say, you know what? I never really bought into these dates. But what if God was actually doing this? What, what if God was rewarding these people who have been diligently searching the scriptures to try to figure out his, his return? And why if God was rewarding these people with a little bit of insight, a little bit of knowledge, especially during these last days, you know, Daniel said knowledge will increase. And I think that knowledge is not like general knowledge, like some people say, like technology and all that. But I think it could be pertaining to the word of God as well. And, and um, maybe even the timing of the rapture. I think it really boils down to when it comes to these people who are really opposed to these dates. I think their attitude is, you know what, if God's not revealing anything to me, he's not revealing anything to anybody. And I think that's the heart of it. It's pride. You know what? You guys, humble yourselves. You know, just seek the Lord. Stop trying to knock down your brothers and sisters in Christ who are eagerly looking to his appearing. And, and if you're not really looking to his appearing, then please do examine your hearts. Um, I'm not here to knock you guys. Well, I sort of am, but... More, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this just to maybe you can examine your hearts and see where you really stand in all these things that are happening right now. Are, are you excited for Jesus to come back? Uh, is he coming back this year, next year, or d does it matter to you? It should matter to you. And if, and if some bozo, you know, comes up with a date, and he, and he might be a bozo, but you know what? It, why don't you humble yourself, examine your heart, and think that maybe, just maybe, the Lord might be leading certain people. You know, they're all coming up with the same general time frame of the rapture. And, 
you know, maybe they're all deceived. That's very possible. Maybe they're all just a bunch of con men. That's also possible, but I don't think they are, especially the ones that I've been watching. But regardless of what's in their hearts, examine what's in your heart. Why do you get so mad? Why do you go out of your way to hunt down these people who are looking forward to Jesus' return? You know, just because he, says he hasn't revealed anything to you doesn't mean he's not revealing anything to anybody else. If he hasn't revealed anything to me, maybe if he's going to reveal something to me, maybe he'll reveal it through others. And maybe, as others are saying, maybe when um, the day approaches, maybe he'll reveal it something to all of us. I, I don't know. I, mean, I hope he does. But, you know, maybe all we get is the seasons. And I definitely think that we're in the season. And season being really soon. You know, hopefully, you know, by the end of the year. I mean, I don't think season is going to be a season of 10 years or even a year. That That's not a season. When God says a season, he means a season. You know, he's very specific in the Bible when it comes to dates and measurements of time. So, anyway, that's all I want to... Um, talk about uh, thank you guys for watching um, again the high watch date is this weekend if it passes life goes on you know but but if it does if, if the rapture does happen then you know you know praise be to Jesus and um, you know do your thing preach the gospel um, don't forget to do that always be preaching the gospel uh, we, we might only have a very short time so think about your loved ones relatives co-workers whatever anyway until next time hopefully there won't be I mean you know. All right. See you later, guys.